Margaret. Welcome back to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going through more of this haul that the wonderful Trace sent to me as a thank you gift for our I don't even know. I thank you. But I thank you so much for sending. I mean, I know she says why, but you know, it's been very sweet. So thank you very much for this friend mail haul. I'm enjoying going through it. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. And let's dive into some more of this. I'm really excited. It's been so many beautiful pieces. So first up is this triple strand necklace that's got all of these cool satellite beads on it. <clears throat> the brand is New York and Company. It's marked NY. And normally this is one that I might not sell, but I think this is one that would do really well. I think that because it's neutral enough that it could go with like so many different options or outfits and it doesn't have like a specific color color scheme i don't know i think this one will do really well so i will try to sell this one. Oh wow this is gorgeous so we have this glass disc it's blue with little black flecks in there kind of clear in spots but it's this gorgeous black disc there's a little bitty chip on the back side there it's got this swirl at the top nice chain yes this is something i will absolutely sell next up is this copper brace or necklace rather genuine copper it says on the back and it's kind of got this medallion floral look to it yeah that's really nice so again another nice item that i think will do really well this is something that i could sell oh look how fun this one is so this has got lots of rings that are intertwining with one another. I mean, it's just awesome. So I, for, I can definitely see someone liking this necklace. It's got an uh, expandable, adjustable length, so you could wear it up near your collar, and make it hang a little lower. Yeah, I can definitely see someone liking this. It's almost brutalist style. I'm gonna have to find some really good keywords for all of these rings. Very cool. Next, I've got this hematite necklace. It's got these graduated panels down here and then some cool kind of swirl beads. I usually would put this kind of stuff in a lot, but there's some little green beads in between. I'm gonna have to look this up. So yeah, again, there are little green beads in there. I'm gonna have to look up what I see about, about hematite necklaces and I might sell this one. Uh, look at this. So we've got a multi-strand necklace. It's got that green that you know that I love. I think this is gorgeous. This is 1928. Well, that explains it because I really like their stuff. So 1928's a, a brand that makes vintage style uh, necklaces, jewelry, etc. So definitely going to sell this one. There's There are people that like that brand. There are people that like this style, graduated, lengths, beautiful. Oh, how fun is this one? So this is a really long chain necklace, and then at the bottom of it, it's got this chevron style medallion, and then these little dangly charms on this. I could see someone really liking this. I know there are people that like to layer necklaces, so this is one I could see layered with a bunch of others. But yeah, very cool. Definitely going to sell that one. So here we've got a silver, probably silver tone necklace. Yep. This one will probably go into a lot. Oh wow, okay. This one, if I can figure it out. <laughs> this one's super tang tangled up, oh boy. Uh, can I get it? Can she do it? So this one's pretty tangled up, but it also is uh, broken in a couple spots, so this one will go straight to a lot. It's pretty though. Ooh, another nice one. Again, this is another really long one with lots of rings and then these hematite colored beads. Hmm, I'm on the fence about this. Like I could see this one being a really great one to layer, but I almost feel like I see stuff like this. Could I sell it? I may try, I'm gonna try this one. Oh, this is gorgeous. So I love these blue colors with this gold. It's got these blue beads, these rings, gold necklace. I think that's gorgeous. It's almost like mermaid-ish. I love it with all the little, and then there's little blue colored pearly beads down here. Yep, very mermaid-y. 
So I will for sure sell this one. No maker's mark, but I don't think it's gonna matter. It's cute. Oh, wow, look at this. So here we've got this necklace with this abalone look underneath. This is faceted, 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 and then these blue beads. Then the necklace part has these discs. This is so unusual. Let's see, Maker's Mark, we've got a hang tag. Ah, uh, this looks like an Anne Klein with that lion. Yep, Anne Klein. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be one that I can sell. Wow, thank you so much. Ooh. So here we've got another one that's almost a mixed metal look, kind of a brutalist style. This is a Chico's, and there are people that love their Chico's brand jewelry. So yeah, this is one that I will certainly sell. I love that thick chain as well. Oh, Zodiac time. All right, Zodiac time. This one is Capricorn, set in pewter. Oh, that's very nice. I love selling things for Zodiac because people like buying things for Zodiac. So that is definitely going to be a seller. Then we've got this little, it's either a bracelet or an anklet. And it says rock on it. Yeah, I'll try to sell that. Why not? Woo! All right, this necklace, it's got a hang tag. The hang tag says Monet. It is a very, very long necklace. It's got two different kinds of chain, and it's long, 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 very, very long. So you could twist it around to make, you know, different lengths as you wear it. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that one. I think somebody would really like that. Next is another really long chain. It's got a box clasp, and I think I see some writing on the back. It might just say Hong Kong. Let me take a peek. Yep, it says Hong Kong, so that makes this vintage. I, I may go ahead and try to sell it just for that fact. Oh, you guys. Look at this camel. Is your foot supposed to be like that? Yep, it is. Okay. So we have this really cool three-dimensional camel with cool enamel work on this gold tone chain. I absolutely see somebody loving this. It's gorgeous. Someone's going to love their dromedary. It's, it's very cool. So yeah, definitely going to sell it. It's quite heavy too. Oh, nice. So next we've got one of these little family necklaces and it's got you know, grown-up ladies and grown-up men and lots of babies on this chain that might be silver. That's magnetic. Um, yeah, this is really cute. I tell me your thoughts. Would you sell all the little family people separate, like take them off and sell them separately, or try to keep them all together? I mean, you'd have to find somebody who's got a mom and a dad and a maybe teenager and little babies and little girl. It's curious. I don't know. I can't decide what to do. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Oh, this necklace is so cute. It's a nice little uh, gold tone chain. And then it's got these little dainty enamel work, almost cloisonne style butterflies that are channel set into the necklace. So they're stationed rather like satellite, boop, 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 not channel set. So they're so cute. This is something I will definitely sell. All right, we've got a Brighton bracelet. That will get sold. <clears throat> hmm, this little bracelet's sweet. It's got these black beads, little black blingy, I mean, blingy beads in there. I might put that into a lot. We've got this gold tone bracelet. That will go to a lot. And then I think I've sold uh, this bracelet before. I mean, not this exact one, but <clears throat> this brand is called Best. And I have sold a Christmas charm bracelet from Best before. It's on the back of one of them, I saw it. Anyway, yeah, I will definitely sell this. Christmas sells, charm bracelets sell. It's a cute one. This will get sold. Oh, this is a really nice silver tone chain necklace. It's got a nice little pearl on the back. Yeah, I'll, I may find a pendant to put on this one, but that's really sweet. I will sell that. 
Then we've got another silver tone chain necklace. I like this style of chain, so I may go ahead and try to sell this one. It's not sterling silver, but a sterling silver chain that looks like this would cost in the hundreds. So somebody might want the look, but can't afford the price. And so they might buy mine. Oh, this is nice. It's a uh, tag together. It's a hematite and freshwater pearl bracelet and necklace. Yep, I'll sell those. Oh, how sweet is this? We've got this charm bracelet that has these slide on charms and it's got a little sea star and all kinds of cute little colors, pearls. Yeah, I'll sell this. This is really cute. This chip bracelet I'll probably put into a lot. <clears throat> ah, another charm bracelet. Got a winner. So this charm bracelet's got little shoes and purses and cell phones. So this is one I will for sure sell. Hmm, this is a an anklet. I'll probably put that into a lot. Ah, you know my love for bangles. I love the bangles. This has got mother of pearl and abalone inlaid. No question, I will certainly sell this one. It's so sweet. All right, we've got a nice owl necklace. Oh, there's something hooked up with it. We're hooking up. No, we're not. We're tangled now. Why? There we go. Okay, so this owl I will sell. Easy. Okay, let's take a talk. Take a talk? Let's have a talk about this necklace. We have a necklace with some sea beads. The thing about this is they are all amber colored. I do not think they are actually amber, but there's this black color, there's this yellow color, like a honey amber, a cognac amber color but I do not believe them to be actually amber. But I think that somebody would still like this necklace, so I will certainly sell it. Oh, this is really pretty. So we've got this Asian style ceramic bead drop pendant with these cobalt blue satellite beads along this other beaded necklace. Uh, we have a toggle clasp here. I will try to sell this. I think it's really cute. Ah, we've got this copper bracelet. It's got these little screws and I feel like there's a brand that uses those. I'm not sure that this is that brand. I don't see a maker's mark in there, but I will for sure sell this one. Love it. Next up is this really cute. It's got these stars, these little blue beads. It's a, a color style necklace. And the maker's mark, oh, I can't read it, it's so tiny. The maker's mark is Afterthoughts. So I'll have to look that up because I am not familiar with that one. Then there's this really pretty necklace. It's this rose gold, almost coppery rose gold pendant with all these little chips, sparkle chips in there. This one, I, hang on, I see a mark, hang on. It says bronze, okay. I may try to sell that, I don't know. Tell me what you think, but I think this is one I will probably try to sell. It's cute. Look at these earrings. Oh, I love them. So we've got these turquoise colored beads. They're very Southwest style. Uh, those will definitely sell. They're cute. Gonna sell those. All right. Next up is it's the tag says extra long silver ball necklace and it's got these cool knot looks. So yeah, I will try to sell this. I am trying to step out of my comfort zone and sell more long necklaces. So this is up for sale. It's gonna be up for sale. Ah, oh, yes. This is a really long Peridot chip necklace that I will certainly sell. Look at that color, it's just gorgeous. I love that green. All right, next up we've got this really long necklace it's a chain link necklace, but they are kind of eye shapes. And this necklace is put out by Avenue. So I'll probably put this one into a lot. All right, pink stretch bracelet. This one, the stretch is good with this one. Ooh, I mean, I like these swirly green beads a lot, but I will probably blot this one up as well. 
Ooh, all right. I like these. They're kind of satin finished beads. They're really smooth. And then this purple is a stone. I'll have to look and see what kind of stone this is. But yeah, I will for sure sell this. I don't see a whole lot of purple jewelry like this. So I definitely think someone would snap this one up. Oh, there's more of that cobalt blue. These beads are really unusual. Those are very cool. We've got some hematite chips. This, which I'm not 100% sure. It's probably that, not puka, but <laughs> he'll always tell me and I can never remember what it is. I can't remember what that is. And then these blue cobalt glass beads. Oh yeah, I will sell that one. Just look at those colors, that's awesome. Oh, sweet. So this one is a Vera Bradley necklace. It's on a pink leather cord, which looks really nice. And then it's got like a classic Vera Bradley pendant. Very sweet. And the leather on this looks so nice. So yeah, definitely going to sell this Vera Bradley necklace. Oh, yes. So we've got a vintage multi-strand blingy. Some of the beads kind of have this Aurora Borealis uh, finish on them, that iridescence. And it's not quite coming through. It looks more yellow in the camera, but in front of me, it's more of a salmon, pinky, orange color. Uh, on camera, it looks, I'm looking at it, and it looks more orange or yellowy gold. But yeah, it's definitely more salmon colored in person. Yeah, I will sell this. Then we've got this ivory colored. It's not ivory, but ivory colored. They're cold to the touch. So stone, I'm guessing. This is a Banana Republic necklace. Yeah, there's some kind of stone because they're definitely cold to the touch. Unless they're ceramic, which I don't think. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I'll sell that. Aha. Next up is this Premier Design necklace. It's quite long. It's got the pinks and the oranges that some people I know just love. Makes me think of Sherbert. Yep. And this one is, oh, it's nice. It says Garden Party. So I can look up the name of this one. This one was somebody was trying to sell for $48. I like it. I like the price for sure. Yep, I will sell that. Okay. Next up is this multi-strand, three-strand graduated gold tone necklace with these colorful beads. It reminds me of something my mom would wear in the 80s, but I kind of like it. It's got something, right? I like all the different colorful beads on it. That's, that's what's getting me, I think. I think I'm gonna try to sell this one. Ah, oh, same here. We've got this gold tone, and then we've got this little panel piece with black enamel and some little bling. It's really understated but I could see someone definitely liking this kind of minimalist. Then we've got this really super long gold tone chain that will probably just go to a lot. And then this one, same thing, super sweet, minimalist, graduated beads. I could see someone liking that as well. Just someone that likes, just wants something simple, sweet, delicate, feminine. That would do the trick. Okay, we've got another bracelet. I love bracelets. This is a cuff style. It's got this cool hammered swirl, and it looks, I mean, the finish looks silver, where the, so it might be plated. I don't see a mark. Let me grab my magnet. It's not magnetic, so it could be either that it's plated or it's silver and just not marked. So I'll have to test it and see what I think. But yeah, that's, even if it ends up being just plated, something that I will certainly sell. All right, another hematite necklace with some pearls. I love the little chevrons on the side. I feel like I need to look up hematite necklaces just in case. I, I'm wondering if I set them aside too often, but maybe there's actually a really good market for these. So I'm gonna look this one up. Next is this really pretty. It's got these different length chains, graduated red beads, Beautiful. I will absolutely sell this. Then there's this choker style necklace. It's got, hmm, that's interesting. So I guess this is asymmetrical. You'd put it on and this would be not in the center of your throat, but maybe off to the side. That's interesting. But yeah, I like that kind of Southwest style medallion. So 
Ah, another seller. Ah, next up we have this vintage necklace. It's got this hook and eye clasp. Um, I might just put this into a lot. It's cool, but probably going to a lot. Oh yeah, I like this one. So we've got this almost wire-like necklace. And here's the pendant. This side's very shiny, so I'm trying to figure out like, is this the front or the back? Or maybe it can be worn either way. So that's one side, but then we flip it over. This is the back, you would think, but if you like a brutalist style, then you might wear it this way instead. Very cool. Yeah, I'll sell it. This one is really sweet too. So we've got these black and kind of hematite colored faceted beads on a gunmetal chain. Mm, I'll probably put this into a lot. Ooh. All right, we've got this cool heavy chain necklace. It's got these chain pieces and then these kind of rings that are connecting them. It's really hardcore looking. So definitely, definitely gonna sell that one. I could see it. someone really liking that. Then, how does this one go? I guess you can choose, choose your own adventure. So you can create, let me zoom it out a bit for you. I guess you can change the lengths on this one. This could be for behind the neck. And then it has these multi strands with bling and different colored chains. Could you do it? Like I can make it shorter if I put a different chain behind my neck. If I put that one behind my neck, it kind of changes, changes it up. So it's got, it's versatile. I like it. Oh yes. So here we've got this woven, looks like, you know, silver and gold braided necklace. I don't, I don't think it's actually gold and silver. I'll have to slightly magnetic on it, but I will certainly sell this. I know for a fact my mom likes this style. She has many pieces that are bracelets and necklaces that are woven with gold, rose gold, silver, and she really likes that style. So certainly somebody else will as well. So I'm gonna sell this one. Ah, oh, this one's really sweet. So it's got this kind of peridot green colored teardrop surrounded by some blingy crystals. Hmm, I, I'll look it up. I'll see what I see about that. Maybe I'll sell it. It might end up into a lot though. And then this one as well, I like, let me know, do you guys sell stuff like this? My, my gut is telling me to put it into a lot. So that's probably what's gonna happen there. Another charm bracelet, I love it. So this has got some cute hearts and a little basket. Grandma is a blessing. I will sell it. People love their grandmas. Oh, I love it. So this has a little, it's a key and it's got all these colorful bling stones all around and then there's an F in the center. I will sell that one too. Boy, there's so much here. I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you for sending this to me. Oh, this necklace. These remind me of lobsters. Look at them. Looks like these are the lobster claws and that's the lobster body and these are the baby crawfish. I, I love it. I'm gonna definitely try to sell that one. Should I put lobster in the title? They kind of look like lobsters. This is a really cool necklace. At first I was like, okay, it's just gonna be like a normal black and gold. These black beads have got some swirl on them, which is super cool. It's very heavy for its size. Makes me think it's really good quality. I don't see a maker's mark or brand or anything on it. But again, it's it's got that kind of feminine, delicate, simple quality to it that I think someone really might like. Oh, my bangles. Oh, I may have trouble selling these. I love bangles a lot. These are Nicole Miller New York bangles. Two of them are plain. They have these little like bulb areas and then on these, this one that's bulging out, it's got bling on it. What does that say in there? Oh yeah, it's Mark and him. Yeah, I, ooh. All right, I'm gonna look them up. If the price is right, I'll sell them. If it's not, I will just keep them because I love bangles. <laughs> this necklace, 
Again, it's one that I would normally put into a lot, but honestly, I'm like, it's so chunky. I think I'm gonna sell it. It's got these big, chunky black beads and then these capped, that's missing its cap, isn't it? Oh, maybe it'll go to a lot because it's missing one of its bead caps. That's weird. How would, I guess it would have had to have broken off or something. Aw, oh, man. Is there a maker's mark? It may not matter. If it's a fancy brand, it won't matter. Napier. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about that one. Oh, this one's pretty too. Again, this is one of those that like I have to step out because it's not my style, but it's got these really pretty amber and cognac colored beads. They're glass, but I think somebody would really like this, someone who likes those type of colors. So I think I'm going to sell that one. Once again, I would love to thank Trace for sending me this friend mail. I am enjoying going through it. There's so many beautiful pieces here. Thank you again for your generosity and sending this to me. I'm loving it. And again, everyone else, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.